Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great today and if you haven't noticed already about the quality of this video um, I got my camera back, it is finally repaired so I'm really excited about that um, but today I have a book review for you guys and it is on Heart of the Matter by Emily Giffen and I rated this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads um, I thought this book was very, very different from her other works or the other books that I've read anyway. Um, the other books, Something Borrowed, Something Blue, and even Love the One You're With have kind of a comedic undertone. Like when you're reading about the main characters, they, they kind of make you laugh because they're either kind of ditzy or, you know, just not so serious. But this book ha is, it, it deals with um, very serious situations and the characters in themselves are just like um more grown up i guess does that make sense um anywho but this book is about these two women um who lead two completely different lives their names are tessa and valerie um valerie is a single mother she is a lawyer um who takes care of her son all by herself pretty much and tessa is a housewife mother of two children who is married to a plastic surgeon named Nick um, but how uh, how Tessa and Valerie end up crossing each other or how they end up meeting is actually by uh, Tessa's husband um, and um, after all that happened some, some things happen I don't know how to tell you about the story without giving the entire story away but probably from what I just said you can probably already guess what happens but um, when I say this book deals with um, serious situations, it kind of covers the whole topic of marriage and what you would do to save it. Like if something happened in your relationship, would you forgive and forget? Would you try to move on? Would you try to fix it? Or would you just up and leave? And based on the certain decisions that are made in the story, I find that very different because nowadays people would just basically sign the papers and pack up and be out the door. Um, so Emily Giffen decides to take a more serious note and um, and try to she tries to uh, find another aspect of marriage when things go wrong and that marriages can be repaired no matter what. No matter what happens um but yeah but I mean you know I guess this is for the more mature reader because it does deal with married couples and um, other issues of that nature um, but you know if there is something you're going through in your life or something and you want a different aspect of marital problems um, totally then I would definitely recommend this book um, but yeah this is definitely definitely one of Emily Giffen's more serious uh, novels and um, so I think right now I've read almost all of her books um, except one I haven't read baby proof yet and I do I still want to read that so I'll pick that up um, sometime in the near future when I finish reading some of these books that I'm looking at now my to be read pile is still really big it's and it's growing uh, but that's okay um, also, I wanted to know what you guys thought because lately I've been really wanting to read like something scary, a really horror, gore, graphic novel thing. And I don't really know where to go. I haven't read a horror novel in so long. I mean, you know, recommend something that's not Stephen King. I mean, I love Stephen King, but you know, he's so overrated. And I want to read something different, you know. And I don't know very many good horror authors. So if you guys know some and would like to recommend some to me, I would greatly appreciate it because for some reason I really want to read a really good horror novel. I don't know why. Anyway, um, that is my video. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.